Hey everybody, what's up? I know you've been freaking out about maybe you know Spider-Man maybe leaving the Marvel Universe, so I'm gonna explain what's going on. It's not as bad as it sounds. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything. I do Marvel and DC videos every week. Usually things are not as dire as they seem from the title of this video here. So Spider-Man might be leaving the Marvel Cinematic Universe after he finishes the second Spider-Man Homecoming movie. So the premise, the idea, just makes it sound absolutely terrible. But the reason that everyone's reporting this is because Amy Pascal, who used to be the head of Sonio's studio arm, just gave an interview where she talked about how wonderful it was that they were able to get all three studios, Disney, Marvel, and Sony, to sign on the dotted line to share this character and make some really amazing movies. She was like, it might not ever happen again. I'll read her full statement in a minute. But she implied that after they get done making all the Marvel-based Spider-Man movies, with Tom Holland. That includes the Spider-Man solo films as well as the Infinity War crossovers and any other crossovers they might do that that might be the end of their sharing arrangement with the character. So everybody was freaking out. No more Spider-Man in the MCU. How dare you? So here's the full statement. This is what she said. One of the things I think that is so amazing about this experience is that you don't have studios deciding to work together to make a film very often. In fact, it may never happen again after we do the sequel, talking about Spider-Man Homecoming 2. I'll explain that movie in a second. But then she goes on to say, because Sony, Disney, and Marvel all decided that the right thing to do was to allow Peter Parker and Spider-Man to be in the MCU and to work with the Marvel guys and have them produce this film. She's talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. And then she goes on to say, I think that it was a very rare thing for three companies to do, a very brilliant thing for them to decide to do, because there are only so many stories that you could tell again and again and again about Spidey. She's talking about the origin story. So it was a very selfless, very smart thing on the part of all the companies. So she was just really happy that all these companies came together. But just to explain the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, they've already dated that for 2019. There's another film that year, Avengers Infinity War. So worst case scenario, even if he does leave the MCU after that second Spider-Man movie, he would probably also still show up during the next Infinity War movie. When she was talking about not being able to do the same story over and over again, just some context, this is a funny story. If you wonder why, when they did Amazing Spider-Man, they had to retell the origin story, it's part of the terms of Sony's use of the character. They have to tell a version of the origin story when they tell a new franchise. And because the Andrew Garfield movies were meant to be a new franchise, they had to retell it. So if they were to do a Tom Holland movie that was not with Marvel, they would have had to do another origin story all over again. People would have been so pissed. So when she's saying that they wouldn't have been able to do it the way they did it for Spider-Man Homecoming, it just means that because they had the sharing arrangement with Marvel, they were able to tell a different kind of story and just make something that people hadn't seen before and was way more fun. So the important takeaway from this, everyone's like, does that mean that Spidey's leaving? the MCU is that that's not what she's saying. She's just saying that they might not be able to make another arrangement. It's going to be really hard because this is going to make a boatload of money. And what's happening is, is that because of the sharing arrangement, Marvel doesn't see a dime from the movie profits. They make money off of the toys, off of the merchandising from the Spider-Man character. They get creative control of the character. They get to say how he's used, what the script is, what's going on. Sony gets some input into that. But what people are thinking is, is that because Sony will probably make a boatload of money off their Spider-Man movies, they're trying to create their own Spider-Man cinematic universe with this Venom movie, the Black Cat Silver Sable movie. So what could possibly happen is, is that they build those up so that they have their own version of the MCU and they don't need the marketing help or the creative help of Marvel anymore and they don't want to share the character. But because I think that would be disastrous on everyone's part, people are loving this because he's a shared character. He gets to be part of the MCU. So of course it all comes down to money. Sony wants more money. They want more control of the character. Marvel's just going to have to find a way to deal with that when they come to the table again after the second Spider-Man Homecoming film. And they'll have those negotiations way far in advance of that. They're not going to wait till 2019 when the movie comes out to renegotiate the contract. So odds are, what'll happen is, is that Sony will get more control of the character, more say in how he's used, and he will show up a little bit less during Marvel movies, but he'll still be a shared character. You'll still see him in big team-ups, but they'll just save him for the very, very special occasions. Do not expect to see Spider-Man during Ant-Man and the Wasp, but there's always the chance that he could show up during a Captain America movie, whatever ends up happening with that character if Chris Evans re-signs his contract. There's still so many different things that could happen that it's pointless to worry about it now. 
All it is is a money issue. They just need to renegotiate the terms. Sony will get a little more control, a little bigger part of the merchandising pie because that's where the majority of the profits come from and they'll be happy. So they'll just continue to share the character. So let me know in the comments, do you actually think that Sony would be stupid enough to not renew their contract with Marvel and risk having the exact same thing happen that happened with the Spider-Man character in the last 10 years? The leverage that they would arguably have, like this Spider-Man cinematic universe, doesn't exist yet. The Venom movie has to do really well. The other movies they do, like Black Hat, Silver Sable, that doesn't sound like a really big movie right now. I mean, it could be. We never know. Like, we haven't seen it yet. But they just have this big house of cards that they're building their Spider-Man bet on. So what'll probably happen is, is that those spin-off movies will do okay, but not so well that they can say, yeah, we don't need to share you with Marvel. We don't need the army of Marvel's fans or Marvel's creative support. We can do it all by ourselves. I think it just, it would end terribly for everybody involved. It would be a complete disservice to the character and Tom Holland might stop being Spider-Man if that happened. They might have to recast the actor, meaning that they would have to tell another version of the origin story again, per the terms of their use of the character. So it's just a big bag of fail. Don't worry about it. It's just the premise is what was freaking people out because you hear somebody as powerful as Amy Pascal saying that and you're like, wait a minute, you were definitely in the room when they were hammering out this deal. So it's kind of scary, but she's not the head of Sony anymore. She resigned with a little bit of dignity when they had that big hacking scandal. So Sony almost went up in flames a couple of years ago because they got hacked, all this data got released. Their films were doing really poorly. So she was the head of the studio at the time. She left, somebody else came in, but because she had been producing the Spider-Man films up to that point, she started co-producing with Kevin Feige when they started their arrangement. So she's still working on Spider-Man stuff, but she's not like a big decision maker at Sony anymore. So what'll happen is, is in better news, more fun things to talk about. I'll do another Spider-Man video later this week for the movie. Leave all your video requests in the comments below. The more requests you guys leave me, the better our discussions are. Congratulations to the latest Spider-Man giveaway winner, Platinum X2A. You win those action figures. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. There was a new round that started in this video, so I'll announce a winner the next time I post a Marvel video. So while you wait for that, you can click here to rewatch that Spider-Man trailer, and you can click here for brand new Flash. Thank you so much for watching. Let's high five. I'll see you guys in the next video.